But anyway, let's open this thing up. Hopefully there isn't a head in here. So here in Wan Sutter, Wyoming, um, last night I ended up getting off the route somehow. The Wahoo was taking me a completely different direction than the ACA route. Um, I realized that when I was 40 miles off course. For me to get back to the well would have been uh, quite a feat with the amount of water that I had. Plus kind of just eyeballing things on the ACA app. Anyway, I'm in Wom Sutter. I spent a night here in a hotel and uh, I don't know, paid some bills, took care of some stuff, ate a ton of food this morning. But so the only way out of Wom Sutter is 38 miles east on I-80 which is interesting. And bicycles are allowed on the interstates in Wyoming just because there's no other way to go. There's no frontage road. And if I wanted to take gravel all the way back to Rollins, it would literally be uh, six hours north and up and around. And uh, that's not going down today. So I'm just getting back to the route. Um, I did miss some of the route, but I ended up riding a bunch of badass roads down to Guam Sutter. So I'm not really too hurt about it. Um, so I'm just gonna head east to Rollins and get back on route. My Wahoo is functioning properly this morning. It shows that the route is 30 miles east of me or 38 miles uh, east of me. Really what was uh, swaying my opinion was the amount of water that I had, but I made it to town. It was tight. I had this much water left. I, I was good. I was watching my watching myself and uh, plus the sun was going down. It wasn't a it wasn't like a horrible temperature, and uh, but I did grab 100 miles uh, yesterday, so that is another uh, century for the trip. It's the third century for the trip, and a century for Wyoming, which is super cool. Anyway, getting on 80, and uh, we'll see what's up. Henry Rollins, Wyoming. I'm in uh, Rollins, Wyoming. Um, just made it back onto the route. So kind of interesting, everybody. In my Wahoo, I have two GDMBR routes. One is border to border, and the other one is Jasper to the Mexican border. And this entire time, I've been using the one that's from border to border without a problem, seemingly. I've been hitting all the spots on the map. All the mileages are making sense. All the campsites are there where they're supposed to be, right at the exact mileages. For whatever reason, in kind of one of the most crucial times on this trail, the Wahoo like just took me a different route. So I was using the border to border route, the one that I downloaded into it. It veered me way off the path, you know. As I was going, I had some mileages in my head, you know, make a left turn in about 13 and a half miles. A, a couple of them made sense, but then there were, I got to a couple and it was like, you know, I was supposed to make a right like five miles ago what's going on here but then I would eventually come to a right and I would look at it and like I mean yesterday I was looking for you know to head south on route 23 I came to a T in the road and the Wahoo was making a right hand turn which would be south onto route 23 and I was like okay maybe just because of the service maybe the GPS is kind of maybe the app is kind of screwed up um, so I just kind of kept going with it and I was going and going and it was like I should be making a left-hand turn in 7.6 miles and then a 10.8 mile stretch to this well which was like very crucial because of the water I had. And I had enough water to get there. It was like a 75 mile stretch without water. I thought it was pretty good but as I rode, checked the app and it said I was off route. My Wahoo was saying I was on route and then I came to a decision, you know, do I just make a left and go off on these like barren roads into the middle of nowhere with questionable water going a questionable distance um and also if i was to backtrack to the route there was no backtracking to the route if i was to cut over and get back on the route i would have to head northbound on the route for miles um to get back up to that well so it wasn't even like if i get to the route i'm safe it was like can i make it to the well and in the end, the, the final decision was just head 20 miles straight south. And that's the way the Wahoo was taking me to Wom Sutter, Wyoming. I did have enough water to get there. It was tight though. It was, it was tighter than I ever liked to be on water. And especially in like a location as barren as that, you know. I really hadn't had a problem until now, or maybe I hadn't thought I had a problem. You know, maybe I was going like different ways, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm back on the route. 
I'm sunburnt, I'm beat down, I need a break, I need a rest. My hands are killing me from this, this flat bar. I'm getting through it, but uh, I, I could just use a rest. So I got like 40 miles in on the road today, three o'clock. I'm gonna take the rest of the day off, maybe get a video uploaded for you, resupply for the next couple days. I think I'll be in Colorado tomorrow, believe it or not. Not as far south as Steamboat, but I believe I should be at least just over the border. Um, there is a lodge coming up, Brush Mountain Lodge. It's a pretty iconic, a uh, place to stay when you do the GDMBR, or the divide, the route, you know, if you're on this route, you generally want to stop at this place. So it's about 85 miles out. Back-to-back -back hotel rooms, which is a little bit weird. Um, one in Wom Sutter last night and one in Rollins tonight, but this is like super cheap. I'm staying at the Brickyard Inn. Full fridge, micro, TV, lots of storage, and it's directly on the route. It's right here. This, this is the route. You go down there, you make a left, you head out of town. Um, really all the other hotels are two miles up next to the Walmart like I probably will be doing a ride up there uh, let's go to Walmart resupply for the next couple days and I'm also trying to find that cord that'll allow my drone to work before I actually get down to Colorado and can pick it up but anyway I'm happy I'm here for the day and the night it's working out pretty well I'm just gonna rest up I think my body needs it I'm just my legs are completely sunburnt I need to I don't know, maybe I haven't been taking care of myself as well as you should be out here. I've been really hammering it the last few days. I did an 85, a 95, an 85, and a 100 yesterday. I'm just kind of just kind of smoked out a little bit, a little bit. Um, my, my legs will get that, that serious burn where you're just like bonked out, like halfway up a climb. It's like, I need, I need rest. Hopefully get a video on for you guys soon. Anyway, stay tuned everybody. Life on the Divide. Rolling out of Rollins this morning, guys over the bridge day 20 1230 miles for the trip to be in Colorado today so excited about that it's starting out at 9 30 ouch I had some work to do on the computer there but check the train Heading to uh, Antelope Wells, New, uh, New Mexico. Oh Mexican border, man, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> What's that? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really sure where I'm headed exactly, but I'm just kind of following the GPS. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Off-road, thank you. just about done with that 10 miles of road that's seven seven point seven here man still a little great basin-y but it's uh still has a little great basin twinge to it but i could i could tell it's gonna be pulling out of it i talked to a construction worker up here there's like a, a bit of a detour getting out of town but uh he said you're headed for the mountains buddy he was like laughing about it, like I, like I'm unaware of the trip I'm on. <laughs> it was funny, but great talking to you, Sal. Hope you uh, check out the channel, bruh. Yeah, he said there were a couple riders about an hour ahead of me, so I don't know. I'd say 10 to 12 miles ahead of me, so they should be on the gravel. But chances are they're gonna stop at the reservoir and grab water where I brought, uh, I got like three and a half, almost four liters with me to try to make this like 65 mile jump to like a spigot or something like that. Loving day 20 and uh, soon to be in my home state, kind of, maybe, sorta, or I don't know. Wow, that looks like some Arizona. Some Arizona Utah business right there. Wow. Really nice out here. I'd love to get out of this state right away. I'd love to get out of Wyoming. Maybe like 65 miles till I'm out of Wyoming or so.
Reservoir. I haven't even drank out of my water yet. It's still like another 50 miles before water. There's nothing to do but ride. Throwing on some Jerry Garcia today, y'all. Funky town. Who, everybody? Yep, out in the middle of nowhere still. It says on the map that I should have turned to gravel, but looking at it, I don't know. I'm still on the road. It might be road all the way down, but maybe the maps are outdated a little bit. I just want to show you guys this is a risky, risky maneuver here. This is like my main shirt drying out. I like washed it in the, uh, I washed it in the hotel room last night. It's still a little damp this morning. But putting it on the back of the bike like that, it'd be a silent exit for that guy, you know? So, just letting you know. Uh, ri risky maneuver. I don't like doing that stuff. If anything, out on the front, but I got so many Oreos out here. I got so many Oreos out front, I'm freaking out. But So I've been uh, bumping into these coolers every once in a while. I haven't opened this one up yet. Let's, let's take a look. It's probably water for the CDT through hikers. Um, if I was out of water, I'd probably hit it up, but but I'm, I'm going to leave it for the hikers anyway. But anyway, let's open this thing up. Hopefully there isn't a head in here. Booyah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. That's sweet. I'm going to save that, save that for the hikers. I know they would need it way more than I do. And uh, I still have four liters of water. I haven't taken a swig yet, but this is beautiful. This is a, uh... I mean, it's barren, but it is different than like literally the Great Basin or, or you know the geography and landscape north of Rollins. This is this is just some beautiful good old Wyoming countryside. Man, there's so much space out here. Amazing how much space is here in this country. You know what I mean? Like cities get crowded. Everybody's living on top of each other, and it's just like why? For the area code? I don't get it. But I'm looking pretty fly in that in bike jersey. What's up? Oh my God. Almost back to the trees. I haven't seen trees in a week. Hell yeah. Interesting day, a lot of climbing. Just about 3,200 feet today. 44 miles by two. It's not bad. It's getting getting hot, but finally back to the trees. Oh my god. I should be about I don't know, maybe like 20 or 30 miles away from Colorado. Super excited to get out of Wyoming. It was a tough state. But loving it out here. Pavement has ended. 44 miles of pavement today, that was awesome. I was really only expecting 10 or 12. Sweet, and I am back to the trees. Oh my God, so nice out here. And I can see some bike marks in the gravel here. Always a good indication that you're headed the right way. All right, finally back to the trees. We got some aspens, conifers, and uh, hopefully it should pick up from here. I believe I should be entering the Bridger National Forest soon, if I'm not already in it. Um, I haven't taken a look at the map quite yet. It's turning out to be a pretty productive day for leaving at 9.30. This is just great. I, I had enough of that open that open ride and will kind of beat the hell out of you. Wind wasn't too bad and uh, it was different than the Great Basin. You know, I could see the transition from basin to uh, back into the woods. But um, anyway, it's only getting better from here. Yo! Yo! Whoa! 